Hello everyone, a warm welcome to English class. I am your teacher and guide, Dimpi Khurana, working as English mistress at Government High School, Alachor, in District SBS Nagar. Dear students, today we are going to do a very interesting grammar topic of class 6. And the name of the topic is Nouns. Number. First of all, look at the following pictures carefully. First picture is of school. Next picture is of a girl named Gita. Next picture is of dog and next is a picture of boat. So students, here school is the name of a place, Gita is the name of a person Dog is the name of an animal and board is the name of a thing. These naming words are called nouns. So, the names of persons, animals, things and places are called nouns. For example, mother baked cakes and biscuits. Here cakes and biscuits are underlined and these are nouns. Give me a cup of tea. In this sentence cup and tea both words are underlined and these are nouns. The boy is carrying oranges. Here boy and oranges are nouns. My father has traveled many cities. Here father and cities are nouns. All the schools are closed. Here schools is underlined and it is a noun. Next Cows give us lot of milk. Here cows and milk are underlined and these are nouns. So here students let's do an exercise. Here you have to underline the nouns in the following sentences. First sentence is my sister is a nurse. Second, farmers are working in the fields. Third, these fruits are sweet. Next, we cannot live without water. The baby is crying for its toy. He lives in a big city. The vendor is selling ice cream in the streets. A postman delivers letters. You have to underline the nouns in these sentences. Think about it. Let's match your answers. First sentence is My sister is a nurse. Her sister and nurse both words are nouns. Next sentence Farmers are working in the fields. In this sentence, farmers and fields, 
both words are nouns next these fruits are sweet in this sentence fruits refers to the noun we cannot live without water here water is underlined and it is the noun the baby is crying for its toy here baby and toy both words are noun he lives in a big city in this sentence city refers to the noun the vendor is selling ice cream in the street here vendor ice cream and streets these words are the nouns next a postman delivers letters in this sentence postman and letters both words are the nouns nouns number wow what a beautiful picture Today is Rinku's birthday. Read on to find out what she has to tell you. All my friends were invited on my birthday party. My room was decorated with colorful balloons and stars. A cake was brought by my brother. I got many gifts. Jyoti my friend gave me a book which i liked the most so dear students the noun which are in red color these are about a single thing or person such as party cake book brother they are singular noun right and the nouns which are in blue color these are about persons or things which are more than one number such as friends balloons stars and these are plural nouns right now let us look at the following sentences in these sentences you can read radhika has one doll urita has three dolls next amit got two chocolates on his birthday next i have an orange in my bag let's take some more examples here study the following words in the table in first column words are doll bat baby city orange and in second column words are dolls bats babies cities oranges so students here plural of doll is dolls bat bats baby babies city cities orange oranges singular and plural nouns dear students after looking at the sentences and the table we can well understand that singular nouns refer to anything that is one or single to count 
Plural nouns refer to many things that is more than one. Let us take more examples. Students, you can see in these pictures. Here first one is one orange. It is a singular and its plural is three oranges. Next, one bird. Plural, two birds. One star, that is singular and its plural form is many stars. One puppy, here plural form, four puppies. Right? Very good. So students, let's do another exercise. State whether the underlined noun is singular or plural. First sentence, I have a beautiful watch. Here watch is underlined and you have to tell me that whether it is a singular noun or plural. Next, Rohit scored 70 runs in the final match. Many boys were absent from the class. My left knee is hurting. Some girls were dancing in the party. I saw an elephant in the street. Why do you need two pens? His father owns a very expensive car. So, dear students, here words watch, runs, boys, knee, girls, elephant, pens and car are underlined. And you have to tell whether these words are singular or plural. Think over it. Let's match your answers. Here, I have a beautiful watch. Watch is singular. Next, runs is plural. Boys is also in plural form. And in next sentence, knee is underlined and it is in singular form. Next, girls in plural form. Next, elephant in singular form. Pens in plural form. And car in singular form. Right? So here, formation of plural nouns. Here some rules are given that how we will convert singular into plural. To make plural from singular, we add S, ES and IES. Sometimes also, F becomes V-E-S. Examples are knife. Its plural form will be knives. Leaf. Its plural form is leaves. Some nouns remain the same in their plural form too. For example, sheep fish, deer. So, let's look at the following examples. Here, cat in singular form and its plural form is cats. We are just adding S. Flag, flags. Horse, horses. Goat, goats. Ball, balls. Lion, 
lions sister sisters owl owls here nouns ending with s x s h and c h let's take examples related to this rule bunch bunches dish dishes tax taxes dress dresses brush brushes bush bushes box boxes class classes here you can see the words are ending with s x s h and c h also and we convert it into plural forms by adding es next nouns ending in y with a consonant letter before y let's take some examples city cities story stories baby babies lady ladies here you can see that nouns are ending with y but there is a consonant letter before y in first word before y consonant is t in next word consonant is r in baby the consonant is b and in next word consonant before y is d so the nouns which are ending in y with a consonant letter before y are changed into plural by replacing y with i e s as you can see in these examples next noun ending in y with a vowel letter before y students you can see in these examples that words are ending with y but before y there is a vowel sound so these are converted into plural by adding s key keys boy boys story stories holiday holidays nouns ending in f or f e examples are calf calves thief thieves knife knives half halves here when nouns are ending in f or f e then we will make plural by replacing f or f e with v e s right next exceptions in nouns ending in f or f e there are some exceptions of this rule and these are roof roofs chief chiefs proof proofs hoof hoofs here we have just added s right these are the exceptions of this rule next is compound noun change the main noun here you have to just add s examples are daughter in law here plural form daughters in law step daughter plural form step daughters son in law sons in law 
step son step sons here you have to just add s next some irregular plurals here examples are man men mouse mice ox oxen person people foot feet woman women goose geese child children tooth teeth loves lies some compound nouns take double plural examples are men servant men servants woman servant women servants some nouns are always in plural form examples scissors trousers spectacles socks and some nouns are always used in singular form for example furniture news bread so students keep in mind all the things let's do another exercise change the following singular nouns into plurals and nouns are lion bus box girl family toy wish book and you have to change these nouns into plurals these are quite easy yes take your time do it fast let's match your answers lion lions bus buses box boxes girl girls family families toy toys wish wishes book books now identify singular and plural nouns sentences are two boys were playing in the park my right foot hurts the oxen were standing in front of the gate the men wore white shirts and women wore white dresses the boxes were kept in one corner of the room girls of our school will participate in the competition bring tomatoes potatoes and a pineapple from the market the cat ran after the mice the leaves of the tree have become yellow sheep are grazing in the field you have to identify singular and plural nouns yes do it okay let's match your answers hey students you can see that the words which are in blue color are plural and which are in red color these are singular right two boys were playing in the park here boys is plural and park is singular next foot this is singular oxen plural and gate is singular men plural shirts women dresses all words are in plural form in this sentence boxes plural corner singular room singular girls plural school singular 
competition singular tomatoes and potatoes both are plural pineapple and market these are in singular form cat singular and mice plural leaves in plural form and tree in singular form sheep plural and field singular right next exercise i have bought two dash from the bookstore here options are given and you have to choose the correct option options are book books next my mother is using a dash to cut the vegetables knife knives the tailor has kept the dash on the table caesar caesars the two dash are playing in the garden child children my new house has many dash room rooms a cricket dash is going on in london match matches several dash of our classroom are broken bench benches Five dash are kept on the table. Glass, glasses. Did you brush your dash today? Tooth, teeth. Shift the dash from this room to that room. Furniture, furnitures. Answers are in first sentence two books. In next sentence there will be knife. That is singular. Caesars. In next sentence, correct option is children. In next sentence, correct option is rooms because many is given. Next, a cricket match is going on in London. Several benches of our classroom are broken. Next, glasses is right option. And in next sentence. teeth and in next furniture right so students this was all about today's lecture thank you for being with me have a very nice day